Hi everyone, and welcome back to A Writing Guy. So I've hit 1,000 subscribers for the channel in the past week, and I asked everyone on Instagram for some questions, and I'll try to answer them down in stories. But I think it would be more fun to write the questions and make it into a separate video on this zone. So here are some of the questions. First, how did you manage to buy this much pen? It's pretty much a cycle. Buy a few, panic because I bought too many, and sell off most of them, and then rinse and repeat. Second question, how do you stop yourself from buying more pens? It's similar to any other hobbies, I think. The more you experience a hobby, the more time you spend with it, the closer you get to that point of knowing when it's enough. And for my fountain pen journey, it's probably the day when I acquired the Mont Blanc Bohem. Next one. When are you going to do the review of the Pilot Custom A23? I kind of want to have a nice microphone for that video since it's one of my most cherished fountain pens, so I would like to give it the quality it deserves. Which one is your favorite pen? Favorite brand? I don't really have a favorite brand or pen because each pen in the collection serves a different purpose. Right now, I want to indulge this 149 for as long as I could because it's not my pen and I'm just borrowing it for the videos. Next question, how do you tune your nibs? Is there anything you do to make them write smoothly? Mostly it comes down to having a feel for your ink, pens, and paper. Some combos work better and give a smoother feel to the touch, others require some adjustment. But most of the pens I purchased are in decent condition, so there wasn't much tuning needed to be done. But usually, uh, the few problems I have is was that the nib write a bit too dry, so I kind of press it down a little bit to open up the channel, and it kind of helped with the ink flow. Next question. How much time did it take you to develop the amazing handwriting that you have now? It did take a while and lots of inks and paper. I restarted practicing at around the end of 2016 and right now I'm still not really content with my handwriting. The key is to do the thing you want to be good at every day. I suggest you guys do around 10 to 20 minutes of practicing every day so that you don't get bored really quickly. Next one. I don't have any questions, just want to say congrats. Aw, thank you. How did you get into fountain pens? Back in the day when I started grade school, everyone had to have a pair of Hero fountain pen. The, the model was 331 and a bottle of Queen Purple Ink. I made a video on that combo a few months ago and I'll put a link up here so that you could check it out. But back to the story. I was really clumsy and pretty much the pen broke on me every single time. Especially the cap because the sealing mechanism wasn't the best. And also the Swiss Tife converter wasn't the best at holding the ink. And they broke around quite a bit. So I had a pretty bad impressions on fountain pen. But then in 2016, I got back into it and here we are. What's your favorite ink color? Black, pilot black, I guess. I'm still in the search for the perfect black, but then nothing is really black. It's just a shade of gray. So you can never have enough gray. Recommendations for some types of fountain pens, inks and paper for daily use. If you are students, a budget one, I would say Platinum Preppy, a bottle of Pilot Black, and Clairefontaine for everyday use would be one of the best budget recommendations. But if you have a larger budget, I would say try things out and see what fits your handwriting, the style of writing that you have to use, and your personal preference. Uh, can you review the Pilot Kakuno for beginners? Yes, I had a few of them. I'll try to get one back in the collection and I'll make a review on that. Please stay tuned. How many pens do you have? Which one is your favorite? 
I have quite a few, and I lost count, but it's under 20. Thoughts on Pilot Metropolitan and Lame Safari. Both of them are pretty good pens, and I think anyone could benefit from having one of them, if not both, in the collection. But to be honest, their designs don't speak to me that well, so um, I don't see the benefit of me adding one in my personal collection. But you do you. Maybe it's someone's favorite pet. So thank you guys for watching the Q&A. I hope this benefits you in one way or another. And please stay tuned because we have more fountain pen reviews and handwriting lessons coming up. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.